In this video, I will show you how to install PySpark in Jupyter Notebook and how to write some code using that and run that. First, we will create a new folder for our project. If you already have a project, you can just go inside that folder. So I have just named my project PySpark project. Go inside this folder. And now what we are doing is we are creating a virtual environment which will be used as our Jupyter Notebook kernel. And in that kernel, we will install PySpark. So hold shift and right click and click on open partial window here. If you have open command prompt here, you can click on that too. And now this is the command to create a new virtual environment. Now give any name to your virtual environment. I'll write my env. This has completed. So if I minimize this and reload my folder, as you can see, the virtual environment is created. Now this is a very important step. So don't forget to do it. What you need to do is you need to activate your virtual environment. To do that, just type the name that you had written, hit tab, and then write scripts, and then write activate. Now this will activate your virtual environment. As you can see, this is shown here. That means that this virtual environment is activated. Now you need to install PySpark. To do that, just type pip install PySpark. As you can see now, PySpark is completely installed, but doing this is not enough to use it in Jupyter Notebook. You need to install IPY kernel so that you will be able to use this as kernel. So to do that, just install IPY kernel just like we did by Spark. Now APY kernel is installed. Now you need to set up APY kernel for use in Jupyter Notebook. So this is the last step. Just to Python m APY kernel install dash dash user dash dash name and give any name to the kernel. I'll write by Spark kernel. Hit enter. And as you can see, it is showing this message, installed kernel spec. Now you can open Jupyter Notebook. So now our Jupyter Notebook is open. What you can do is just click on this new and click on your kernel. So our kernel was PySpark kernel. Click on this. And in this notebook, you will have PySpark available. And, we can, and now we will write some code and run it using PySpark. And let's see if it works or not. sample code let's run this using control and enter and as you can see our PySpark has run but there is some error in our code this means that this is installed successfully and we can import PySpark but we'll have to fix the code here so anyway you can now import and use PySpark in your projects if you have any questions let me know in the comments below